Hi, I'm Mike Teal, owner and chairman of Rayleigh's Markets. But most importantly, I'm an advocate for the consumer. Over these past several episodes, we have been discussing the potentially harmful effects of consuming too much added sugar and how manufacturers often add sugar to make their products more appealing and to potentially increase your consumption. But we are also noticing that people are choosing healthier products. As a result, more and more of the major brands, also known as CPGs, are addressing these evolving consumer preferences by purchasing small, independent, natural and organic companies. In 2000, Kellogg's purchased Kashi Company for $25 million to operate as part of their natural food division. In 2014, Annie's Homegrown was sold to General Mills for $820 million. And in 2017, Nestle acquired Atrium Innovations for a whopping $2.3 billion. Yeah, I said a billion. Which included Garden of Life, one of the most well-known companies for organic, non-GMO, whole food supplements. These small companies are often built on strong principles and tend to promote products that are natural or organic and often with a purpose focused around corporate responsibility and sustainability. Which begs the question, what happens to these products after they're purchased by these major companies? Let me give you a good example. In 2011, Coca-Cola purchased Honest Tea, which was a startup company up in Oregon. It's a relatively healthy drink not a lot of added sugar in it. As a result, Coca-Cola has made no changes to the formulation, but the product has now gained worldwide acceptance. Let's look at an example that's not as good. Yum Butter, a great peanut butter product, comes in a pouch, easy to use on the trail, filled with healthy super ingredients, a good balance between omega-6s and omega-3s. Guess what happened? Private equity got involved and they replaced the super ingredients with sugar. Now, the number two ingredient is sugar, a product I will no longer be consuming. My question to you is, as these companies are purchased, do you believe these brands will protect the integrity of these products? Or will they reformulate the ingredient decks and in turn add more sugar to these products? Tell me what you think and leave your comments below. We're challenging the brands to support initiatives that improve the quality of our food, and we want to see them invest in better brands. At Rayleigh's, we are advocating for the consumer by fighting for more transparency on packaging and encouraging our manufacturer partners to consider consumers' increasing interest in knowing where their food comes from and how it's made. Next time, we're going to look at the proposed FDA nutrition label changes and help bring to life the missing piece of that public debate.